الوهم ما طلعت في الشنطه حتقوم ما تجيبها الاسبوع الجاي بالانس في اللايف كله بالانس في اللايف كله في الشنطه طبعا ان شاء الله مرتاح يا سلام وزننا بيشنط كيف جيتين تنتو فلامينجوس بودكاست ذس ابيسود 110 شويه بس لانه انت دايس على ال اوكي شكرا براحتك حبيبي This is a brand new week, brand new episode from the Flamingos Podcast. Tune in every Monday. Visuals <laughs> every Tuesday. Chelsea, <laughs> Tune in every Monday for uh, audios, visuals every Tuesday, just like what Kenzie said. Yep. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody out there is uh, is well, sane, safe. In uh, this heat. What? In this heat. In this heat, in this humidity, I've read that it's going to reach 100%. I don't know if I'm 100%. I'm going to go outside. It's a, yeah, it's a weather where you swim. <laughs> <laughs> Cars are floating. Let's, let's be specific. What does 100% humidity mean? Oh, I'm, Isn't water 100% know, not... humid? Technically. Isn't the visibility? The visibility is when it's become... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But that's the fog. That's the fog. Well, that that like, the isn't it water? Hundred percent humid. But good to technically like that water. Okay, so Lila, we're starting. CO2 on the H2O oh, yeah. is is when you 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 put the. You know, it's it's really. This one has rotuba. It's this is actually one of the things that you just mentioned. Till date, we know what water is made from. It's CO2, uh, H2O, H2O and uh, what? It's it? H2O, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So two uh, O's, oxygen, and then you have hydrogen, right? No, it's yeah. two, two hydrogen and one. Two, uh, yeah, it's whatever. Okay, I was never good in, in, in chemistry. Yeah. Well, in chemistry. Well, it's well, called yeah. chemistry. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was never good at yeah. yeah. You said water is CO2. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Regardless. Uh-huh. But till date, they know what is it made from, but they don't know how to make it. Ah, uh, okay. Think of it. Yeah, they don't know Nobody how, to make, made it. How, how to make water from, from, from the air. From, the, from them too. Uh, Nobody from, made them. From the hydrogen and... And from the oxygen. And oxygen. Nobody did. Till date. That's your, that's your thing deep for the week. That's not, See? not, not really deep. <laughs> yeah, it is. Why? Yeah, the data with all of this you advanced, want them to make hydrogen and make oxygen no, no. and bring them well, together you have them bring them together make water they make yeah they bro, make water uh, from air bro they, yeah they're from air you can't no no, no there, there nobody is, okay, is making I can send water you, i can send you uh, a video of a guy who built a device uh-huh. that transfer or at least collect humidity from the air and then no 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 actually mm-hmm. I don't know what the technology behind it. I see. It. I, don't, I don't know. No, no, no I'm telling it. you. I'm, I'm sure. Not, I'm just, 100% sure that till date nobody came up and discovered how to make water from scratch. Like from not scratch. from scratch, from the elements. Yeah, I mean, from the from elements the, that we know. From the okay. You know? I th- I think there is, but I don't let think me, so. Let's let's get back to it uh, next yeah. episode. And for everybody out there listening, uh if you know let us know. Yeah. Right? We clearly don't know. <laughs> Allah, humid. <laughs> so it's gonna. But be yeah, humid. the weather, the weather is 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 terrible. It's hot, it's terrible. Man. Are you guys planning to travel this year in summer, as a getaway? You want to take a pod break? I wanted to. I wanted like to. In, also, yeah. Like in, I, I won't be able to. Then we'll see it all. We'll see it all. Ah, all the time in Dubai. Of course. I don't know. Let's try it. Try it. What about you, Kenzie? Are you traveling? Uh, I didn't make a plan yet, but <laughs> yet, <laughs> yeah. But so you're making a plan for winter. But this time, this time actually, I want my next trip is gonna be in Africa. I want to go to Kenya. To be honest, that's a fascinating destination. Yeah, I mean, like I hear, I hear good stuff about Kenya. Yeah, I want to do <laughs> and that. And then you that, would that, have that, Spotify with uh, Kenzie a day in Kenya, mm. <laughs> just like Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> in Ghana, Kendrick Lamar was. No, uh, I know, did, but I'm saying to my go in Kenya. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, why not? How was your week, gentlemen? Before we get into the mess, 
How was your week? Allah, my week was uh, was pretty good. Mm. Uh, I felt I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's the weather changing, but you feel a l- tired a lot more often. Yeah, and you feel more. Sl- you you feel burned out earlier in the day than than you do when it's winter time, or maybe I'm just feeling fatigued. Like in, I've been feeling tired a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it might, I start shutting down around five six p.m. Sheesh. Yeah. yeah. Same. Me on. Um, انت من اليوم كله شدون لك. لا لا I'm going through the same. So I think, I, but but it's it's okay, man. Yeah. Why though? You I think it's the heat. It. Yeah, it is. It might yeah. be. It consumes a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like in, it's going well. Uh, I had a very spontaneous it's not the heat. weekend. Sorry. It's not the heat. It's the humid. It's the difference. So both, both you've been them. to Europe and you've been to Europe in summer, right? Yeah. You know how hot it is. But you don't get tired, yet it's not humid. Yes. You know? Uh, Over here, humidity is what, so, you know, messes good. you up. Uh, also, the air conditioning here. I think yeah, plays, that, plays that transition from humidity to air conditioning <laughs> is a killer. It does. Yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, that's very bad. It's so it's bad. very bad. It's so very bad. bad. But yeah, sorry, Awab. Go ahead. Yeah, I had a very spontaneous weekend. I, yeah, any, I was planning to stay home, but I went out. Uh, I went to a friend's birthday celebration, kind of thing. It was very random. Mm. On so it's, s- your, it's your friend, but he didn't know that there's a birthday. No, I knew, uh-huh. I but I didn't want to go. He tried to dodge. No, I dodged it. Okay. And then I was like, you know what? Halas, I'm, I'll go. Because a friend of mine, another friend of Good mine, heart. called me and he's like, "As my listen, let's go." And we went. It was extremely random. It's a what baby. Mm-hmm. It was an extremely random uh, interaction that night. And I'm not if it's it was so random and weird that I don't even know how to explain it right now. I'm still trying to Broadway. understand. What do you mean by random? <laughs> when your day is just يوم عشوائي. Okay. تعيش في عشوائية كده يعني. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go yeah. there. Uh, let's go. Uh, it was fine. It was fun. Yeah. It was light and breezy. Like in, it was just random. Okay. And weird. But that was it. That was my weekend. Weekend, basically. Okay. What about you, Kenzie? How was your How was your week and weekend? Uh, this week. Uh, the week was boring, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> emphasis on <laughs> emphasis boring. on boring. 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 Yeah. It was. It was so fucking boring, to be honest. What did uh, you do? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing challenging. Nothing is. It's just the normal things. Uh, <laughs> I'm disgusted. I, mean. <laughs> I was disgusted. This yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, other than this, during the. Kalini <laughs> Azaka. Yeah, during the, during the weekend, <laughs> uh, I, I did. I did like uh, I, I I visited uh, some of my friends, and the common topic was the common topic was two things. Uh, hmm. Early retirement, okay, and how to achieve that <laughs> w- was very interesting topics bro, to be honest. Bro, okay. And the other topic, which is I think it's the result of the uh, of, <coughs> I think I think the 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 early retirement is the result of the topic that we discussed during the weekend, which is, um, uh, the recession and. That is happening in the world. That right is happening now. in the world. Did you have these discussions with the people that I know you went to? Yep. And Both you of talk them. about the recession. Recession mainly recession, and we 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 like researched all the latest news about the recession, and we even compared it to the previous recessions in the 1940s. Is it okay if I mention names? Yeah. Al kalam da kan ma Khalid ma Haider. Both of them. Both of them, and I also. I cannot imagine how. Akba atnir fiki ya kura ardiya. Yeah, I cannot imagine how this conversation went. My God, fiki. In the middle of this, is a hadith. Seriously, that hadith is a hadith. Ah, jama, recession. Yeah, we did the, we did a whole research about about it, and also we also talked about uh, apparently because everybody is panicking about the recession and what's going to happen and how is the market and the layoffs and all of these. All of these things, and a lot of big companies right now are laying yeah. off a lot of employees. Exactly. So it's it's it's, it's something that is expected. So it's gonna happen. Yeah. So are we taking our precautions reg- uh, toward it? Surprisingly, I was having sa- similar discussion with my friend over the weekend as well. Yeah. Recession, and world war, 
a next one that is coming exactly and all of that exactly. but, and yeah. also mm. i noticed that in the last two weeks i have been approached by like more than four people who knew that i'm in i'm into tech and I used, develop, swavy, huh? I, do, <laughs> I used to develop. I used to develop websites, web-based mm. application, and file application. Mm. And they, all, all of a sudden, all of these people, they reached out to me and they wanted to execute their their projects. Okay. So that's nice. All of these events, when I try to correlate them, uh, it's 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 something it's something crazy. It's the Illuminati. They're I sending know. you messages. Something. We want you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> But it's 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 it sounds it's life. It's sound, it's life. Yeah, it sounds. It's, it's life. It's nothing weird about it at all. It's life. It's you being active, uh, talking to people socially. You're being social. You're going out. You're talking to people. You're getting chances in life. But the question is, am I ready? That that's, is a very dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, am I am I ready? What I meant is, am I ready to whatever the life is throwing at me like this is this is what I are you ready for retirement i am ready for retirement yeah Hello? i want to retire. then you should be ready I, for re- anything I before re- retirement I'm, yeah i'm really thinking about early retirement every single day to be honest what's the first step for an early retirement ah yeah this is one of one of the things that uh for, to achieve early retirement you need at actually we calculated me and Khaled, we calculated the minimum expenses no, no, not the minimum, or the minimum ex- passive income that will allow you to what will get you that passive income uh, equity now assets more than liabilities and this is what i read in in uh rich da- no no rich dad poor dad that's that's one of one of one of the greatest book to read okay what is it called rich dad poor dad i have i have a copy in my <laughs> <room. laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's about that's it that's nice man. that's interesting I want to keep my weekends this in, in within these uh, type of conversation conversations. With everybody, with, with everybody. I'm joking. Yeah. طبعا شارع تو شارع تو خالد أنا هيدا. But yeah, uh, my week was good. Was not bad. Very chill. I had طبعا خلاص. I'm in that environment where we have a work outing. Oh okay. <laughs> It was pretty fun. It was chill. Uh, we did some drumming, some drums, drumming. We had a drumming session. Uh, yeah, and then we had fun. That's it. That's, that was it. I actually, Saturdays to me are becoming the days where I stay at home and just chill. I embrace that now on Saturdays only. Mm. Like, خلاص, because to us now, Saturdays are the new Fridays, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So usually in Friday, you would chill. Okay. Right, and then Saturday, the old Saturday, the old f- format. You would the halas, you know, the day where you hate your life. Then the next day is work, you know, <laughs> or whatever which is, it is. Which is now Sunday. Actually. Yeah. So <clears throat> to me, to me now, fr- Fridays are Saturdays, and I'm just lay back at home. If I want to go out, I would go out. I I went to uh, what is it called? The Red Bull uh, competition, hoops competition. I don't know what is it, what is it exactly called. But uh, it was fun. It was chill. Mm. Yeah, in Dubai uh, Festival City. Uh, met some old friends over there as well. Uh, yeah, that was it. It was, it was it was pretty chill. It was pretty That's chill. That's cool. And then you know, at Friday night or Friday morning. Yeah, Thursday night, Thursday night, mm-hmm. midnight. Mm-hmm. The owl announced that his album is coming. Mm. Unexpected. Nobody expected, but I mean, <sighs> you guys want to talk about it now or after the show? Brand new Flamingos podcast. This is episode one one o one ten from the Flamingos podcast. This is Yad. Kenzie on the mic and a wub. Let's get straight into it. Pause. Mm-hmm. It was a surprise album. 
honestly never mind بوات هاي طبعا طبعا ديتا اوكي سو هاو شود وي ستارت هاو شود اي ستارت ذس اوكي فيرست اوف اول دريك ريليس ان البوم اوكي لا ما انا ام ثينكينج هاو ام غانا تاكل ات بيكوز تو مي ذس واز ا بانيك ريليس فروم دريك panic yes so he was panicking he panicked and released this album you know why because queen b announced that she's releasing an album mm-hmm. in july okay and you know when beyonce releases mm-hmm. it's a shutdown for anybody out there sales you're not going to sell nobody's going to listen to your project it's queen b over here right okay. like it's beyonce mm-hmm. and with with how and i kid you not once i saw that she took off all of her pictures avatars all over the social platforms mm-hmm. next day i went to to the office at work i was like hey guys have you seen what beyonce did they're like yeah i'm like you bet she's gonna release an album everyone was like nah she's not it might be a marketing move for uh you know uh her brands clothing brands mm-hmm. whatever it is I was like, nah, this is this is this is a one on one music release move. You know how rappers, how artists do that. They release, uh, they they delete every post from their Instagram. They do all of that, and then Future did that. A lot of people do that, you know. Yeah. That's where I'm. 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 I'm my release, to, yeah, I'm my release is soon. It's coming soon. Yeah. And then she announced that her album's releasing in July, yeah. right? Right before summer, mm-hmm. or in summer, you know, as an intro to summer. and i i suspected because this album came all of a sudden that drake also was planning because this is a summer album right mm. it's a dance album yeah right he was going to release it around that time maybe by the end of june maybe next weekend you know but then he would have a competition with chris brown and everybody out there is like, you know waiting for that chris brown album yeah Uh, because like no he 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 released it now okay. just to avoid Beyonce he moved up his release to yes. avoid Beyonce clashing with to, uh, yeah. Beyonce Chris because, Brown because listen no not necessarily Chris Brown but you know just to let him have his own mm. week at the end of the day you know mm. but then releasing in July wouldn't sound good for him because his Beyonce is releasing in July mm-hmm. you know but then who also panicked and forfeit his release Joey Badass Mm. Joey Badass, we were supposed to see his album this weekend, but then he came and he gave the excuse. Sampling. <laughs> Sample issues. Mm-hmm. Although he gave us the date of the release of his album a month ago. Mm. If you had sample issues, you would have known about it a month ago. Not the same day or the same week of your release. Maybe it came up. Nah. Your team would finish everything. Like I wouldn't. If I, okay, if I was Joey Badass, <laughs> I don't believe that. I wouldn't worry about uh, Drake? Drake releasing on my time because I mean Joey Badass didn't release in a very long time, and he's releasing a sequel to one of his classics. Nineteen ninety. Exactly nine. Nine. Yeah, I know. Right. So imagine him not make. Not who the get, fuck not, is going to listen to him when Drake releases? Who the fuck listens to him? Anyways? I mean, I do. Back in, the days, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. back in the days. Listen, I love Joey Badass. I just hate his, not hate. That's a big word. I don't like his latest releases. 1999, the first uh, Chronix, the first album, mm-hmm. and that's it. And then to me, he, Charles, he disappeared. He vanished. He released two albums after that, but they were whack. America's Most Wanted, and what was the other one? I forgot. See, I don't. Know. Yeah, I don't. I, exactly. I... So he panicked. Also, he forfeit. He's like, you know what? And then he's like, uh, I'll give it to you in the next, maybe in the next two weeks. Yeah, that's no, too late. Why do, why do we why do we name it panicking? It might be a, just a strategy of like getting the most of the sales in the first week of dropping an album. Yeah, and also panicking at the same time. Like, oh, I can't release with that the same week as Drake is releasing. Yeah, of course you can't. Because you want sell. Yeah, yeah, you nobody's want going. Nobody is going to listen, right? 
So your first week streams are going to look weak. Yeah. Right? Anyway, Drake announced midnight, what? 1 a.m. hour timing. He, he announced that, one or two, he announced that he's releasing an album. Yep. You guys heard it? Yep. What do you think? Who has a hate feedback? Or, a hate? Uh, yeah, a dislike. I don't, so we start with him. You're Who looking wants at to me? start? Who looking wants to, at me? No, I'm looking <laughs> at you and, and the wub. No, no, you were looking at me. Yeah. But I, don't, I, don't, I don't hate it. <laughs> I'm looking at you and a wub. Okay. <laughs> I swear. Still, I don't hate it. <laughs> uh, I don't. So you're going first. Yeah, I'm going Go first. Go ahead. Feeling wise, uh -huh. I don't. I'm not gonna say it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's nice. Mm. You need to like you need to. It's. I feel like it's back. It's not background music. I don't know. I read those tweets. Like no, but I read like, all of the elevator music. Uh, Lobby uh, yeah. music. Like, you know when I started the FIFA soundtrack. It, when, you know what? Uh, fi yeah. FIFA <laughs> soundtrack. Bro. You know when I, when I started enjoying it? When I, when I listened to it the first time deliberately, like I sat down and I listened to it, it didn't sit well with me. I got in the car and I, I was heading to Dubai and I was having a conversation. For some reason, I started focusing more on the album more than the conversation. Mm. Yeah, the album started... I started Making sense. Up, yeah. Yeah. So it's... It's weird that I, I don't I don't get to experience that with with music a lot. Okay. It's usually I listen to it and I like it and I'm gonna keep listening to it, or I listen to it and I don't like it, and I try it you again. You don't again. engage with it again. I, I do engage, but it doesn't work. Okay. For the fact that it worked, it kind of confused me. I'm still in that confused space. Okay. I I, I like there are some songs that I like. I like Sticky, Massive. Mm. But there's there are songs that I like. I'll listen to them again, mm. but I don't think. It's too early for me to say so, but I'm not gonna say it's gonna be top three, for Drake album or top five. But it's still, I like what it, yeah, I like the idea of it. The direction that he took. Yes, I do like it. Okay. I do like the direction. Okay. A lot of people hate on the direction. Yeah. And man, I feel my No, I really think the album, especially sonically, like it's fucking executive produced by Black Coffee. Sonically, it's it's amazing and i don't know how many other djs were there involved in that you know other than black coffee just never mind black coffee you don't know how many other djs were involved in this shit exactly it's a it's a it's a nice it's a nice album it's strange but it's not. yeah as it's, a first it, listen it's strange coming from drake yeah but it's like forget that this is drake okay and what you're used to from enjoy drake. it's an it's an enjoyable listen mm. my side Yes, sir. I think this is, uh, I can put this as a top three Drake's album. Okay. Musically, I love it so much. Okay. Um, like, I know, I think, and I, I, don't, I don't totally agree that it's, it was a panic. I think it was a strategy from Drake's team to uh, reach out for a wider demographic or a, a specific audience. Like the house, lounge, music, audience. No, no, no. I didn't say it's a panic because the type of the album. Uh, and the, the, move, the release. The move. The move no, yeah. no, the release. Yeah, which is yeah. the move. Yeah, like, like the release date, right? Yeah, but not the category of the music. Oh, okay. Because yeah. you're making it sound like it's the category. No, 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 not, oh, the, okay. not the category. Not the category. Okay. But, the, but, but even even that, the, the smart move from his team and his, and him, and him himself, I mean, like releasing uh, this type of dance. Dance, mm. house, music. Mm. Uh, now, he will reach out to those audience, like those people who listens to Black Coffee. Those, those it was music. the most streamed album on Apple Music and dance category. Yeah, uh, this year I think. Yeah, but Drake released it, so and it shocked everybody. But so everybody and, and then it. it tells you that how quiet this category has been. <laughs> It might be right. Might nah, be. if when was the last time you heard know. a good no, no, dance not, song? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. If if Drake drops in any category, that's what what Drake will do to the category. No, that you never that. know. Uh, okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. And also, right. uh, on and I had an experience while listening to the album uh, while driving, which which was, um, I felt like maybe we needed uh, we needed to listen to this type of to this genre or this type of. Music, you know, yeah. yeah. 
Maybe it's the time. I, and also, it's the timing. Perfect timing. Summer. Perfect timing. Summer's ahead. But, yeah. People are going outside. So I, yeah, I was listening to a couple of songs <laughs> and I was imagining people dancing in the in swimming pools and stuff. Like, mm. with Pool parties. Pool parties and stuff. So, yeah, it definitely... Play sticky in this humid weather. I'm, lo- I'm loving the meme, the, the, the fun they're making. Yeah. And I, I, I totally understand the people who really hated this album because they were expecting something... No, they were expecting the same Drake releases. Like, And I noticed... This is the thing, yeah, yes. I noticed that people, they don't like the, the unusual thing. Mm. Mm. Everybody, like most... Like, like 80% of the human beings, when, you, when they are... Accustomed uh, or used to... Used to something, yeah. yeah. When... It deviates from the usual their expectation. Their expectation, yeah. they you're like, what the fuck yeah. is that? Exactly. So I don't know. I think I I read somewhere, or I think you said that uh, this is the album that should have been called CLB. I read that somewhere. No, not me. I I I read that as a comment, and I liked it. Like this is the this no, is no. the album that should have been called. I wish. Certified. The what about you? But here you go. CLB yeah. was released nine months ago. She was pregnant. And this is the delivery on Kendrick Lamar days. <laughs> no, ma, this is the Twitter. No, actually, I know, I none know. of those are what, what uh, has yeah, been said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That see, one of the theories, of course, uh, that you know, uh, because of CLB, this is the song of uh, after nine months of pregnancy or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he released it on Kendrick Lamar's day. Uh, birthday. You think it's coincidence? It's a coincidence. It's what might be a coincidence. Might be. It's Drake. Don't forget, it's is Drake. Is, I know Drake is petty. Exactly. I, I know. I, yeah, Drake if, is the if king of pe- be petty. Kanye said it. Really? Kanye said it. Yes. So, huh. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think it's a move. But okay. <laughs> what okay. I think is that this album is one. Uh, not one. Okay. People put. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> right, actually, yeah, I was. <laughs> uh, the thing is, is that people put Drake in a rapper category only. Hip hop artist, mm. you know. Yet he was one of the first to bring that singing my own hooks, yeah. and my songs and rap as well. Not one of you the know? first, but okay. Yeah. One of the biggest, let's say, yeah. right? That made it, you know. Bro, when I when I heard when I first the first time I heard uh, Drake when he released his mixtape, best I ever had, I think it was. What, what, so far gone. So far gone, yeah. yeah. I thought he he was an R and B singer. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly, so. and that's what he did. Mm. You know, he came to change how hip hop rap is. You know, like it's not that bam bam bam. You know, the whole time yeah. he came with that flows. That's why they used to call him soft. That's why he used to call him whatever it is. Yeah. Yet he would remind people every here and there with songs like 4 AM in Dallas." Uh, mm. You know, those rap and lyrics then, songs. For the past two or three projects, he's it's more heavily rap. To a certain extent, yeah. CLB. What was before it? Scorpion. Scorpion. And then you have. It had. It, it, they were they were heavy on on the rap side. Even though Scorpion was a double disc, but nobody yeah, was, nobody remembers the R and B side. Yeah, to, to, so, yeah, of course. Because yeah, the R and B yeah. side of it was uh, kind of mediocre. So. so people put him in that pedestal. Yet, and I've came here more than once, and I've and I've said what I think about Drake. Drake is an entertainer. With, where he can't play on both sides, just like you. You have you guys seen a while ago how people were. Mad that how Doja Cat is not a rapper can be categorized as a rapper, and then some people would categorize her as a pop singer only, mm. right? Have you seen that on the online? Yeah, yeah. This is the same thing with Drake. You cannot because Drake is a rapper at the same time, and he can sing at the same time, and he can bring all all of type of words in his songs, in his albums, mm. and it's not like this is not this is the, was the first time that he drops dance songs. I played. Controller, ma- uh, fucking half of that. What is it called? Uh, this album that has the cover of his father. More life. More, More life. life. Most of it was that sound, mm-hmm. right? And then you have the drill in it, the UK mm-hmm. drill, right? People were mad. Oh, this this shit sounds whack. 
this shit sounds, you know, uh, like a track list, uh, but FIFA, you know, track list. It sounds like lobby music. It sounds like a fucking. Uh, you seen the video of the club where people holding the sign of Drake album? Sucks. Drake album. No, I didn't. <laughs> that was funny. You know what? Ironically, whatever you. Those same people, months from now, a month or two, they'll, they'll be, be bopping, bopping this shit everywhere. Yeah. Because this, and I've already, I've already started seeing and reading tweets of people saying that this album is going in them, and that's just like two days in. Oh, even even Questlove people, came up exactly and, and said the Electronica came in as well. It's good for yeah, it's yeah. perfect for DJs. Why people are fucking mad that he released that? It's fucking good album. It is. People are not used to seeing their. See, this is the thing. People, people put Drake in a box. It's not that. Remember how we talked about a while ago that uh, how people idolize artists? Mm -hmm. This is the thing. People idolize artists more than their songs. Uh -huh. So they put, they idolize him that he's the best rapper. He idolize, so they keep expecting the same results from him. Oh. A rap, a fucking, uh, you know, and that's it. He, he cannot fucking change, you know, what he does mm. because then they, they would fucking go against him. Because they idolize who he is, not his music. They don't listen to his music. They idolize him for him, you know, to a certain extent. Yeah. Okay. But, I understand what you mean. Yeah. yeah. I, I disagree but, with it, but I understand it. Uh, and I see it's a great album, man. I love it. I love it. I don't know it's, how it's, people. It's one of the any dance albums. I was like, fucking, bro. I didn't get, even go out. This is the thing. People don't have... I believe I, it was easy for me to accept this album mm. because a while ago, and I've came and I told you guys, I've been started to listening to I'm a Piano lately. Mm. You know? I was kind of prepared. Getting prepared. My ears are kind of getting prepared for certain sounds. And this is a discussion that we've been having that how people don't get their ears prepared or trained to certain sounds or music mm. or whatever it is, right? And that's why I feel that, okay, it was for me easier to accept, mm -hmm. you know? And then I grew, okay, and I started listening, I understood the whole process of the album when I was listening to it, you know? Yet, not a lot of people do that because they listen, like, they expect Drake to drop rap and then they only listen to Drake, Lil Baby, Future. Yeah. They're not wide open to different type of genres, Yeah. yeah. you know? So it's tougher for them to listen to this type of Something category. Oh, yeah. And the fucking hell, the first thing that you open, you check is written, dance, the genre, mm. you know, like, like, come on, you know, what would you expect? This is it. But listen, I love the album. I just Honestly. don't understand the point where people hate elevator music and what, what do you mean? <laughs> Lobby music. Lobby yeah. music. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't understand those people. To be well, and I believe the people that hate on this album is that those people that don't have driving license and they, they have not been out and driving around a lot and and i okay this is the thing i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna take the other side for a second uh-huh it's a nice album okay but it you got yeah it's not as nice as you guys say it is it's okay no it is okay wait no it's uh, no, i like it yeah it has its own season It has its own time. Want... And he provides that. And and Drake strategized it well. And he, Hua, when he dropped the album, he announced Scary Hours. Exactly. Like the rap, I got you. It's still coming. And I think he announced Scary Hours because... He knew that Hu people would Hu come with the lashback. No, he knows, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get backlash on this, I'll give them Scary Hours. But, he didn't announce when. So if But I get then, backlash, how come Scary Hours? If you like it, then Scary Hours play it dumb. Nah, nah, it's not that. Bro, this is a different- Because that's, that's basically what, it, what he- I want to discuss this when, now when and few because when we're going to talk about the hip hop genre and how artists are showing their frustration. Mm -hmm. they, Drake took his, his yani, he, I don't want to talk about this now. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I want to talk about it later. But yo, hear me out. Rappers don't want to rap anymore. Why? Rappers are trying to see or tap in different genres as well. well that's normal. 
Yes, just like but you now, as a person, just but like now, you as a listener, listen to you different listen to, genres. Exactly. If you're gonna perform, you're you're gonna want to perform different genres. But why is that? Because rap nowadays, and there's a lot of artists that came out and they voiced their frustration of how hip hop is nowadays. Hence, Asa Parky that we read that he said that hip hop right now is not is not b- becoming more mature. Right? It's it not, got stuck. It's, not, it's, not it's got stuck. Anymore. You know what? Yes, yeah. it got stuck to a certain sound. It's been seven years now that this is the same sound and it's not changing. And it's not even developing. Rappers don't want to rap anymore because certain rappers, artists that do rap, mm-hmm. they're fed up of how this sound is. And I understand that. Because we are used to, to the change of hip hop sound every four to five years, but this is not being changed now. There's nothing it's getting new, stuck. Basically. There's nothing new. It's getting blank. Rappers can't get money anymore because of that. You know, there's no inspiration. Everybody is is getting into the writer's block. Everybody's there's no inspiration. Drake is uninspired, and you can feel that in his music. CLB was an uninspired album. We felt that he played it safe. He released an album that is. Drake, right? Mm-hmm. No rapper is getting inspired anymore. That is great. You feel that it took Kendrick fucking years to drop an album, and he said how he went into writer's block. He said how how uninspired he was. This is why Drake does that. He tapped into a, into a different genre now. Mm. You know, and this is the genre that we came and we talked. Remember a couple of weeks ago, Bad Bunny yeah, had the biggest dropped, sales. Yeah, yeah that, mm-hmm. week. that shows you that this that. is the biggest now. Drake went straight into it. You know, the dance. This is why I see this is a great move. But uh, I, and it's not. It's not out of uh, people. People judge it like it's out of character. It's out of place. It's not. Lil Wayne went for rock. Yeah. So Snoop Dogg went for reggae. Yeah. Nas went for reggae. You have every a lot of artists. Every single Damian Marley went for rap. Hove dropped ghetto techno <laughs> back in the days yeah. with uh, Linkin Park. I think before no, no, no. Oh, ghetto no. techno was released before Blueprint Three, and he did it as a test to see how people perception would be mm. on that if a rapper does a techno song on techno. Yeah, and he got a lot of lashback on that. Mm. You know. Backlash. That was whack. Backlash, sorry. Yeah, it was whack. And it was, to be honest. It was you whack. know, it was whack. It was, it was, it <laughs> was, it was horrible. And then he released, exactly. It was horrible. But then you see Drake. He fucking killed it with this. It's a fucking mood. It's a fucking vibe. Rap is no more. They have to fucking revive it a certain type of way. You know what? People nowadays are not interested in rap, in hip hop. It's, and I believe, yes, It is becoming a dying genre. It is dying. It is losing slowly because now you go into clubs. What type of music that you hear the most? Afro. Exactly. Afro beats, Latin music, mm. dance music. You don't see hip hop playing anymore that much. And then you get the same track list that every DJ plays in the same for hip hop. But wait a, <laughs> but wait a second. You know? Does the, uh, isn't it the Afro fusion includes rap in it in some way or another? To a certain extent, but it's, it's yeah. Afro beats. But it's, an, it's, it's, it's Afro a, it's beats. A it's a whole different, yeah. yeah. Ah, so. And he I don't did know it. How, the, where, where I'm a going. piano is becoming hot right now. It was hot, maybe oh, somewhere oh, out there. It has been hot. If yeah, minute, but yeah. then now it's, it's making more rounds. Mm. You know? So. Yeah. True. It's kind of it's kind of taking the drill music itself. <laughs> What about the drill? Drill came from Chicago. I know, but how is it performing? Is it is it gonna die it's, soon? It's hip hop. It's, it's rap. But it, I'm. Yeah, but this is all of this. There's no. It's it's not it's not growing. It's, it's the same. Maybe it's it's supporting the what? The hip hop. Nah. It's not. I don't know. I believe hip hop as a genre, rap nowadays. Yes, it is stuck. It's not evolving. It's not changing. The sound is not changing, and it's not something good. We don't know. And Anna, I believe, to be honest, and we've discussed this once. Uh, the Griselda, that sound, it will make a comeback. Yet, 
you wouldn't want to play Griselda everywhere you go. I, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna play play Griselda in the summer. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna arg. Why play Griselda over it? <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 putting all categories in one box, which is Such the as? box of of dancing to basically. Like you're comparing them to dance. And I say, good you can't you can't play Griselda. No, no, yeah, so, but that's for no, example. Music, but yeah, but music is you enjoy it to where the 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 atmosphere. The vibe, the, what do you vibe in? Yeah, you're true. not you're not gonna vibe Drake in the gym. Uh, why not? Uh, this one, I think it, you can. Allah, you move like that in the gym. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it <laughs> works. I think oh, the zoom. No, Allah, Allah, I would. Sorahah, go try it. I will. Can <laughs> Hit me up. I'm, I'm hitting you tomorrow. <laughs> right? I'm but no, but I mean, as an overall hip hop, you know, and he said, Drake said, uh, you guys seen maybe the video where he said that if you don't like this album, mm-hmm. we are already there. <laughs> Sound wise, <laughs> you'll catch up later on. Mm. You know, mm. it has some new sounds, by the way, in it. Like What's Sticky that? has something that is interesting. Mm. You know, he was rapping in it somehow, mm-hmm. but it was dance at the same time. Yeah. There is a new sound that he's working on yeah. that I can tell. It's over there. It's somewhere that you can hear it over there in the album. Mm. You know? It sounds nice. I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> Good take. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, it's a good album. It's a good album. Next week, we have uh, Chris Brown releasing as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that one. You guys heard the single? Uh, with Wizkid? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it uh, just now. I gave it a listen. It's What actually, it's actually a very nice. Listen. Yeah, they, yeah, it is. And I'm waiting so long for this Chris Brown album. Like, I, know, did I didn't wait as much for a Chris Brown album before. Yeah, as I'm waiting for this one. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> because I think it's going <laughs> well, to be a good. Kanzi, album. Kanzi thinks Chris Brown is still in 2000. And uh, the same old. Chris Will Brown. you? Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what I remember. That's what I remember. That's not, that's not Chris Brown. No, because I look. 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 We mentioned that Beyonce is releasing also an album. Everybody's clearing away for her. Yeah, but what the one I'm waiting for on Brent July Fayaz? is uh, Brent Fayaz. Oh, yeah. He teased, he teased his album last week. Wasteland. Wasteland. Uh, heavy I, I, I read that three songs are already released. Yeah, on the uh, album. The one with Drake is already has already been released. Tyler, the creator, as well. One with Tyler released? No, one didn't. I don't know, but th- there's other songs that were released. Yeah, there's before. Tyler. Mike Dean is on a few tracks. Yeah, he's not rapping. He's mixing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's mixing on a few tracks. Uh, I'm I'm waiting for it. I'm gonna listen to it more uh, than I, I think. I'm the only one would never wait for a. <laughs> That's you. I don't know. You don't I'll try it. to give it a listen. I'll try to give it a listen. Of course you will. Yeah. I mean, I'll see. I don't, I don't, I don't I'll know. give my honest take as well. Like, okay. don't worry. I'm going to be transparent. Yeah, you're gonna come yeah. you will, and I won't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you like. I will I will like it regardless. Talking about not giving a shit, Logic released an album. <laughs> okay. 30 tracks. Is this the one that Dag Dag if you just about Def Jam? Yep, this is it. That they won't release his album. Yep, and, this is it. And they finally yes. released. Yes, this is it. This is it. Ertah, yani who they released yep. it and he's happy. Duda, uh, Duda. Mush, he came. Yeah, this is the one that brought him back this from is, retirement. This is the album that he came back from retirement. Yes. Or all that shit happened. Or listen, yep. nobody gives it. He has a fat base. Uh, Bro, I, know, I really, I mean, I don't know, should, should, I, should I give the speech again? No, 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 no. I I, I, what I remember is I really that, hope you go, you go outside, you take walks with your kid, have fun in life, and just stop rapping. Do the twi- <laughs> continue the twitching, he, he started Twitch. Twitch, uh, yeah, yeah. continue Twitch, gaming Twitch, sir. Then he was rapping in Twitch as well. Yeah. Making beats. <laughs> Bro, this, he, he has a fan base though. And, uh, ways. I never met any of them. I never met any of them, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, like, listen, I, honestly, like, I know two or three guys that used to come and go like, hey, Logic is hard. And go like, Black Spider-Man? That, that was one of the, his songs, I think. Uh, I don't know. 
Like what the fuck are these guys on? Like logic is good. Logic is a very talented. Uh, no, no, and to me, and I see him. He's a very. I don't know, man. Allah man, khali, Allah khali. He did. He did the freestyle, and he sold the cubic. Uh, well, he's doing a freestyle. Yeah. <laughs> Talented. Bring me, bring me a rapper. <laughs> bring me <laughs> that can, that. can pull that up. Bro, Justin Bieber <laughs> didn't sing a song. I did. <laughs> By the way, did you did you see the the, the paralysis that, uh, that yeah, happened to Justin yeah, Bieber? Yeah, honestly, it's sad, yo. Yeah, it's I, really sad. I would not yeah. wish that on anyone. His, yeah, he, exactly. he was gonna cancel his uh, tour, but yeah, he kept going. He kept on going. And also, no, no. Did, did you that guys did you guys see uh, the T Pain uh, Jay Z this uh, Jay Z yeah, this uh, respond to, after after twelve unreleased. years or? I didn't see Man, it, I, I, heard I, heard it. I, I read it as well but uh, it's unreleased yeah I was I wanted to play it but I was like it was late at night when I read that I was like nah, it's fire by the way yeah <clears throat> bro it's T Pain I love T Pain it's one of my all time favorite artists my top ten T Pain is easily my top ten. <laughs> uh, did he uh, release the song with Bryson Teller? Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Did you? Oh, I had you. Did you guys see the video? Nope. I heard the song. Yes. Do I need to watch the video? <laughs> no, you don't. Look, if you like the song, uh huh. Continue liking it. And don't, don't, watch, don't watch the video. Don't watch the video. Oh, no, really? I know Kenzie is not gonna like the video. Okay. You might Why? like it. Why though? Uh, Diddy, it's, Diddy's it's dancing. Diddy dancing on the video. Ah. Uh, so, so you might like that dumb shit. Okay. okay. He's not gonna like it. Uh, but I hate the song. Okay. <laughs> this is another artist that I hope he stops. Who? Preston uh, Teller? Preston Teller. I thought you were talking about Diddy. No, Preston Teller. <laughs> yeah, Hamuna. <laughs> Rahmuna, 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 bro. Preston Teller, man. Bro. لا لا لا. Bro. خلاص. Bro, nothing was good after Trap Soul. Ah, okay. Zero, none, <laughs> none. Aye. No. Nothing. No, Bryson Tiller is is at a point where he's unnecessary. At Shit. all. That's cool. Zay logic. Zay <laughs> <laughs> logic. Lo logic is also unnecessary. That's, that's my opinion. I think logic you, is unnecessary. You guys are harsh on... I'm saying we're harsh on local artists, but then we'll tell them that they're not going to listen to us. And I was going to say... They're sensitive, يعني. what do you want me to say? Uh, okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, we have Chance the Rapper and Joey Badass. Highs and lows. Highs and lows. Streak, three songs so far, out mm -hmm. from Chance the Rapper every weekend now, right? Streak though? So they're good? <clears throat> I mean, I like them, to be honest. I like this one. I like them. I know, yeah. bar, bar, I, bar. The, the, I like the, them, all of them. Yeah. So far, the one with Vic Mensa, it was nice. The one with Vic Mensa was nice. Yeah. A, bar, a, bar, a, bar, a bar, a bar, it was, was short, but it was nice. Okay. You know? It was the it's least one that I liked. Uh, yeah, it's skip, it's skip. a skit. You know, it gives it's, you a skit uh, feeling. Uh, uh, it was nice, that's why, you know? But uh, I like this one. I like the video. I really like this one. What shot? What shot? I like the direction that he's taking. Mm. This, what do you want? What do you want to like more? <laughs> yeah, I like his cap. He's, he's, he's doing good. He's doing. He's, do, he's, he's, doing he's good. going yeah. back yeah. to to yeah. like yeah. track. F freshman freshman list is out, and we discussed that. Where, where is my phone? We ah. know maybe only two of them, <laughs> the three. I, I know yeah, none of them. That's good. Uh, none and, of them. Uh, and I know maybe two to three of them. But this shows that yo, the time that I was scared from is here. Which is? We're getting old. We're uh, getting old uh, to notice, <laughs> to notice, no, to notice uh -huh. or pay attention to newer artists. Bro, and, I, and I've, yeah. Like, you know, you don't do that. We used to, when we were young, mm -hmm. we used to keep up. Like, who's who's now coming up? Who's uh, that we research? We would, nowadays we don't. Uh, I, I, okay. bundle, hey? <laughs> you know, this bundle, there's and that's always, it. there's always this search. Yeah. We, we always used to have the search. To exactly. Find, you know, uh, the and then we go to our yeah. friends. Listen, this is the guy. Us I, as a humans, we feel I, proud when I, we, I think from my side, I think the last time I was, I was Bro, anticipating the XSL freshman, uh, I don't know what they call it. Yeah, double XL, double XL freshman XL, class. The freshman class. Uh, I, I think gonna, it was the little Uzi. And I just want to, yeah, I mean, the first thing I want to say is that I'm going to put it on Zara. Okay, nice. 
لا ما هم بيجوا تعبانين اصلا يعني بيجوا كيف؟ ما بيجوا تعبانين يعني بيكونوا لسه لسه اه لسه يا دوب طالعين مكتشفوهم يعني ايوه عشان كذا بعدين بعدين عمر ترتيب موست اوف ذيم ار اوريدي اوكي ما بيشبهوا؟ نو سم اوف ذيم ار اوريدي سايند Uh, signed, signed. Yeah. yeah, there's an artist from TDE. There's an artist from Cactus Jack from um, Travis Scott's label. Okay, a couple of them are really si- like already signed. This is how. Uh, how did sense. you watch the cipher? Okay, that with that. Allah, I didn't. I was not interested <laughs> to watch any. Really. And I'm not interested interested in double XL freshman class at all. I stopped. Saucy Santana. I like the name. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's nice. That's a nice, nice name. Yeah. Uh, I stopped paying attention to freshman classes from double XL. Maybe like. Pfft, Four years ago, the last one I watched was uh, Lil, Lil, Uzi, Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi, Kodak, Uzi Black, Kodak Black. All Black. of this, this, this was maybe the last good one. Yes, this was this was the last good this one. This was the last one. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. this is this is the God thing. Logic, uh-huh. But this, <laughs> this, this is the thing that. Logic, this is what I mean. That we are old now to accept all of this. We're not old that, to that you, it, like, or maybe or paying watch. attention to it. There's, all, there's been a lot of controversy around the freshman list, and no, it's it's mostly like marketing influenced. It's not. It's not. That's based true. On, labels, it's not labels ba- putting in their yes. artists, you know, and all of that. It can be. Yeah. It's pressured by labels. It's not. It's not based on talent. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It can be. Yeah. That's that's the whole debate about the freshman list. That's been going on for years. Oh, Omarion and Mario. Hmm? What? Omar- versus Bro, I know when I Omarion saw the news. Mario. Ah, Mario. Versus Mario, man. When I 23rd saw the news. of, uh, of, uh, of June, yeah. today's 19th. When huh? I saw the news about the verses, I was like, 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 Uh, k- k- kinetic. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> it was a nice project, but it, it, it really it was, was a, a nice. It was a good project, yeah. Mario. Mario shot himself. No, he he came and he came in in one of the interviews and he was explaining the, the his hit song. Crypto, uh. No, no, no. His hit song. Uh, <laughs> let me let me love you. Or what, uh-huh. what was it? Uh-huh. And he said that it was supposed to be. Uh, Sang by Asher. But he did it. No, Asher released the other one, which was it? Remind me. You remind me instead of it. Oh, actually, Mario is still releasing songs. Who? Mario uh-huh. is still releasing yeah, songs. Yeah, but he's not gonna. Okay, who you got? Oh, oh Mario. Mario. Okay. okay. And yeah, me too. Because, uh-huh. uh, okay, there's this also, because it's a team format. So, uh-huh. Omarion's okay. team. Like there's, it's 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 like a boxing match. There's undercards and blah 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 and all that. Oh stuff. really? Yeah. That's how versus became now. Uh, this one is. Fa- Yo, versus is becoming whack. To be the 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 undercards huh? for Omarion's side are, okay. are are no are Ray J. Oh. All right. Yo, that's an R&B night. That's an R&B night. <laughs> that's an R- full R&B night. I, I need to find. Wait, wait. Listen, I I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so And, wait, I'll, I'll I'll put it up, you guys. Okay. But the thing is that Omar Omarion, oh, w- when it comes sorry. to dancing, Omarion, he's gonna. So it's gonna be Ray J and Bobby Valentino. Oh, that's shit. Omarion's team. Ah, uh, that's okay. Who's Mario's team? Oh, who's Mario's Pleasure team? P. <laughs> What the fuck? Who? Uh, no, he's he's acting on that. Yeah, he has uh-huh. yeah. songs. Yeah. And and Sammy. Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Ray J and Bobby. Oh, v- bro, it's, 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 uh, it's demo- uh, this is this is, this is the, listen. listen. This is not even an undercard. This is a main card. <laughs> Having no, no, these no, two, no. this is a main card. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> it's uh, it's not it's not even a competition. Mario, clap. Allah, Mario, clap. Mario, clap. Uh, <laughs> was he? Was he? <laughs> no, I'm just assuming. Okay. But talking about crypto, huh, Kenzi? What do you have for us this week? Ah, Bismillah. Um, so the crypto, the crypto 
market in general is still going down. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> going down side. <laughs> going down. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, 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 going, it's, 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 it's a permit it's, scheme, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh-huh. uh, they are accusing uh, <laughs> Elon Musk. Switch. Uh, yeah, they are, they are accusing Elon Musk of um, leading Dodge uh, coin, supporting Dodge coin yeah. and leading a pyramid scheme, and they are suing him for a, vi- a huge amount of money, like billion, billions, yeah. Uh, and he he just two hundred, I think. Yeah, and he just tweeted yesterday that he's still um, supporting. He will continue support Dodge Dodge coin, and he will still bring utilities into how to use the token in his merchandise. Okay. Tesla and within within Tesla and his spaces. ecosystem. Yeah. So yeah. he is in he's still stubborn with his ways. Yeah. And he still believes in the crypto mm. market. Now on the other hand, you have Bill Gates. Uh he came out and he sp- he spoke in a in an interview last week and he was like uh the whole no no If you are following the the crypto market and NFTs, you are following a theory called the big fool, the great fool theory, mm-hmm. indicating that Elon Musk is a fool. Is a fool. Yeah. But there there, there, is, ha- there, is, a, there, there is a beef. There, there is a beef. beef. Those rich people beef. Yeah. 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 This is a different type of beef that you don't feel it. We don't. We don't, we don't understand it. Yeah. You can't. You can't. You just you can't. You don't know it. I, I, I don't believe the whole market that you are following. You know. I, that's that's the kind of this industry. Industry. The whole industry. The whole industry. Yeah. Like your fucking computers are shit. So yeah. So and also. And also, a lot of people they come. They I don't know. I'm noticing that a lot of people these days they are coming and saying, "Ah, we told you it's a it's a bubble. The whole, the whole crypto market no, is." I told you. Is bu- for example, <laughs> and I'm just gonna give an example of two the two categories of people, uh, the yards people, <laughs> who, uh-huh. <laughs> who are just observing. They are not even investing. They are not even researching about the blockchain NFTs. What type of this money? This is the new money. How to use it? What are the wallets? What are the addresses? They eat, like they are just looking from from a far. distance. From a distance, yeah. You know? Can I explain why? No, no. Do I'm, just, do that? I'm gonna I'm gonna let you explain mm. it. And I'm gonna let you know what I hate the most about my people. Yeah, your people. So they are looking at the whole industry uh, as. Uh, for just just like Bill, Bill Gates, and, the whole and they're waiting for the downfall. Mm. Haters, yeah. Uh, whenever so that that <laughs> news when when Bill Gates is still to- Bill Gates is talking about the Bill Gates is it? Bill Gates. Yeah. <laughs> so most of them are talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Just cancel the whole population. <laughs> uh, so whenever there is a bad news about the crypto market, this they they reach out. And they tweet they, like hate. They, they became like the ah, anti memes and stuff. Yeah. yeah, they create memes. They they laugh behind your back. They mm. you know mm. no, they, they laugh at your face. At your face, yeah, uh, exactly. just like I'm doing now. <laughs> so they yeah. so I don't know what they are getting. Mm. This is my question: mm. What you guys are getting back, or what what type of satisfaction that you get when you wish a harm? For somebody else, because okay. we know we know that. And I'm not. They, listen, I, I mean, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna, just gonna state one thing, one one important one point. One last thing, yeah. One last, last important point that those people who are in, uh, doing the type of investment, any type of inv- investment, they are uh, changing their holdings, mm-hmm. their money holdings into assets, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever the asset is. If I'm telling you that tomorrow I'm gonna buy an apartment. Mm. Will you be observing me uh, investing in this real estate and hoping that one day it goes down and I lose all my No, that's uh, a different belongings? type of investment it, that you're talking about, though. Why it's a different type of investment? Explain to me. Because history showed us, uh-huh. history has showed us uh-huh. that investing in property is something that you would benefit from. Okay. That's number one. Yeah. You don't have a history that showed you anything about bitcoins or cryptocurrency so far yet. How? It's something in the build-up. How? No, 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 no. It's something in the build-up. Okay, I'm gonna tell you two, one sentence. 2011, the price of Bitcoin. How, how much was all right, it? All right. How much was it? Tell give me, me, give right. me the price. It was around, let's how say, many? 100, okay, okay. 100 dollars. And the world's richest, richest people. 
list. In the what? World's richest people list. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How many of them are rich because of Bitcoin or cryptocurrency? Uh, Who's the world's richest person? That is a big Who's big the world's, world's richest person? <laughs> Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Yeah. Is he rich off Bitcoins and cryptocurrency? No. Who's the second richest person on earth? Jeff Bezos. Is he rich off uh, cryptocurrency? What's your We don't know. I don't know. That there's no one yet in that list is rich because of that. No, but so any numbers that you're gonna talk about that how much it made, how much every person mm -hmm. made money of cryptocurrency, if it's not money that he can still spend or cash out, he's not really rich yet. Because that money that he has in that Bitcoin, this is me. Oh yeah. 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 Totally in so. that Bitcoin and whatever that he has yet, yeah. he can't cash out yet. Why? And it's some certain people. And I'm Why? saying he didn't cash it out. Like, no, he still wants to Invest and do whatever it is, right? We've always heard people mm -hmm. now that how much they sold uh, art or stuff and how much they have Bitcoins, right? Yeah. A million or whatever it is. Okay. And we've also heard how many of them lost millions in a night because of this fuck up that yeah. is happening okay. right now. Let me continue. Okay. So to me, Anna, as a person, me, mm -hmm. right? At this stage of my life, I would never invest in crypto That's right because i'm not at this stage ready or i don't have that much of finance that i can go and spend on yeah. something that i historically don't know about okay just or okay this is why i would rather go invest in property okay. it's something that i'm sure of a year from now because of studies because of history because of because whatever of research is. right because of the research that they were gonna do because and the history gonna... speaks for it right Correct. I'm going to explain to you two things. Yeah. When you get into the crypto market, you know it's a high volatile market. Like yeah. the price go down crazy. And I'm and not you, ready for that now in my life. Yeah. And 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 I agree with Bill Gates when when he said that if you are, if you don't have the enough money like Elon Musk, yeah. You are not kind of eligible or is, your loss going to be crazy, you yeah, know. Yeah, of course. Now, my advice Mm. And this is not a financial advice again. For all the people who wants to, Disclaimer. yeah. Mm. For all the people who who are just against it, just against for it, the sake, for the sake, okay. for the sake of some people, they they just want to be unique. Mm. Yeah, that they go against the flow. They go against the flow, and some of them they are afraid, mm. and the, and the fear comes from them not knowing enough. Okay. All right. And I explained many times here when I came, when I came and I talk about, about crypto is that uh, if you are not willing to lose the amount you are, that you are going to invest, don't get into it. That's the first thing. Second thing, do your own due diligence and research before investing a filth. A penny, yeah. A penny, yeah. right? And test the water at the stage that I keep coming here and saying the same thing. We are just testing the water of how the blockchain technology is going to help do a revolution of the monetary system mm. and the banking system in the future. Mm. We need to educate ourselves about the blockchain, uh, the utilities, uh, the burning mechanism, uh, those terms, because in the future, okay, in the future is if, if it's not going to be something worth it, so do you Then see I don't lose I'm not losing anything do I you can see there's a comeback now from this definitely. downfall that has happened definitely why because we study history and we we read the analysis of how the price of any assets whether it's stock bond or bonds or whatever don't you think that big people behind certain curtains don't want it to become big and this is why it's, it's having a downfall no 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 because there are too many factors right nowadays that the whole market we are going through one of the difficult times in history when it comes to economics oh yeah <laughs> gas is expensive stock Every prices are going down and it's going a lot of companies right now are losing because of their stock prices are going down yeah. it's it's crazy scary hours scary times yes it's a scary time <laughs> scary times oh. it's a scary times but uh, yeah it, it, it's better to be prepared than sorry that's why i buy a property Do whatever the, yeah, the investment I understand, is. I understand, yeah. Whatever the investment yeah. is, prepare the yeah. for the future. Whether it's a cryptocurrency, buying a, um, a flat, jihad apartment, or, yeah, jihad yeah. or whatever, 
do your research, and measure prepare. the return of investment mm-hmm. in the long and term, prepare. and 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 revolutionize re- <laughs> revolutionize the the whole thing, you know. Yeah. And don't don't don't. And this is there's something that I want to say is that don't 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 put your all your all your eggs, eggs in one all your basket. eggs in one basket. And you a common word that they say in Love Island, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So apply the same on on whatever <laughs> the aspect of, aspect of your life is. Have you lost any of your uh, spendings now or investments in crypto? Yeah, definitely. Because the whole market is is going down. Like no? inta, is your losses big? Yes, yeah, not, not big. No, so much out of the Exactly, exactly. No, not that big. But you kill him, but I'll take you. Yeah, I swear. I swear. So, and, and this is, and this is, I heard a while ago, remember he said, I don't know how much you missed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Quiet, I don't even want to open the app now. A lot? I know I'm at least down like 70%. 70%? Okay. Maybe because you invested in one coin or maybe nope. one, one. That, who, okay. he <laughs> went, <laughs> Moran, he went <laughs> once <laughs> randomly. <laughs> and I'm down 70% as a total. But it's fine. Yeah. I knew what it's I was okay. getting into. It's okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But imagine after 10 years or something, if you, if you kept on yeah, holding it. Yeah, after 10 years, that 70% becomes 700% uh-huh. profit. Uh-huh. So, yeah. If that 70% becomes 100% loss, I'm fine In what, I'm in seven years? Tip. If 10 years. 10 years? Admahim, X, X years, yeah. Is a big at zero, I'm fine with it. If you're, uh, okay. Is a, is a Z at 100%, oh, yeah, I'm going to be yeah, happy yeah, as fuck yeah, too. Yeah. So. But anyway, uh, moving on to locals. Mm-hmm. You guys know about, uh, <laughs> since we're done with COVID uh-huh. and quarantining from COVID, uh-huh. we moved on to monkeypox. Yeah, and they, they just keep coming. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Dubai announced that... Uh, Quarantining for monkeypox is going to be 21 days. <sighs> are you are you mentally even prepared for that? Quarantine. For 21 days in your house. First of all, Anna, I don't stay in my own house. <laughs> this is one of the biggest problems now. Uh, but I mean, in this weather, I'm skipping days. Yeah, I'm going out. <laughs> uh, but then, <laughs> but, we're entering like, a, like basically... Uh, and uh, this is a phase where disease moves more, right? In summer, does it? Uh, I don't know. I or thought, is it I in thought, winter? I thought, it, I thought in winter. Uh, yeah, okay. I thought so. But so the, numbers, okay, I'm the numbers is... Now we have an increase like, again also in COVID. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, Abu Dhabi announced that... It's gonna, uh, Hassan is going to be 14 days. Back again. Mm. So... No, nah, no, nah, I don't wish it. It's like, not bro, it's back, sad. It's, it's sad. It's there actually needs to be sad. Because uh, yeah. people are, are are getting too comfortable again. But come on, this is life. At the end of the day, I know. Like in Bordeaux, you need to be you need to be aware. But it's not. Do you really feel a difference besides the green pass thing? People are look, and I agree to a certain extent that people are becoming careless because you go now to malls, and you see a lot of people not wearing their masks. Yeah. Yet it says wear you mask. Before you go in. And it's right? mandatory, yeah. And it is mandatory, right? And people, as you said, yes, they got way too comfortable. Mm-hmm. But if it's there that you should still wear you it. You should comply. Fucking, exactly. yeah. You know, wear it. Yeah. You know, don't play around. Bro, I don't know if I can. I hope I don't get sick. That's it. Exactly. I just hope I have to quarantine for 21 days. It's going to be hectic, yeah. It's going to be hectic. Bro, because I remember the 10 days. And that was tough. Juruh. Can juruh. Can juruh, What else do we got, anyways? Uh, yeah, uh, we have... Okay, so this is... And I'm, I'm just bringing it over here because Bad Bad Not Good are one of my favorite jazz bands. Uh, they did a tape with Ghostface Killer back in the days. Uh, was it Ghostface or Rick, Rick One? It was I Rick forgot. One. Uh, they have a tape with MF Doom. They have their own solo tapes that I love and I listen to. The instrumentals mainly, and you know all of that. It's a band. Uh, they have the, a show in Dubai, um, July sixth. I'm definitely going. I still didn't purchase the tickets. Yeah, we'll oh, check it out. Yeah. Uh, releases. We have releases as well. Yeah, we have a we have a song from the one and on the one and only. We have a song from Two Dope, mm-hmm. Two Four Nine Two Dope. Mm. Shaggy Majnoon. What? 
شقي مجنون اه اوكي سونج از كولد شقي مجنون اوكي ما هو اصله شقي مجنون هو اصلا اي ثينك هي سامبلز دي سامبل هم سالفه اسود سامبلز شقي مجنون ذا اوريجينال هذا اوريجينال سوداني سونج نانسي عجاج اه نانسي عجاج اه اي لايك ذا سامبل Did you guys listen to it? Uh, I checked the. I checked the video. That's it. The post, and I checked the post on Instagram. That's What about it. you? I checked the video. What do you think? So you heard the song? Uh, he shot. He shot yeah. the video in Oman. He shot. He shot it in Oman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna. Okay. So later on, um, I'm gonna come with this tag that I'm gonna prepare. You, you know where Jose Mourinho says. I am Jose Mourinho. No. Uh-huh. If I talk a lot, I'm in trouble. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna make this a tag. And then I press it. If something that I don't like, I'm gonna press it. So people don't come. So you think you'll be in trouble? They if get you say hurt. You don't like it? Yeah, because a lot of people are getting yeah. hurt. You know, a lot of people are getting sensitive. Whatever it is, whenever I come with a wild take, why or do you care? Whatever, I don't care. But see, I just, خلاص. I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'm from Philip. I'm sick. You know, I'm afraid. I'm not 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 afraid. Okay. <laughs> I didn't like I didn't like the video. Okay. But maybe this the song uh, and this is my personal opinion again. Uh I think if he released it as a lyric a lyric uh, video. video mm. like, no, but the lyrics was or and I, written. Did, uh, yeah. Subtitles? No, like a lyric video like That's it. No uh, need for a video any. Yeah. Okay. No, I think I'm, uh, okay. it might ha- I, it I might it video. might had a different impact some way or another. I, I think know. the visuals gave it a nice touch even though I didn't like the visuals. Okay. ما تفهمني يعني انا قطه نفسي انا لكن لاحظت انا But what a song! It's, I don't know. You guys heard it? Yeah. No. But no, okay. it's okay. It's a nice one. I liked it. I, I liked it too. It I'm was not, it I'm was not. a mixture. It was a mixture. What was the song? with what I feel? So one. one. No, no, no. The previous song that he was that everybody everybody liked it. Jo- this is what Juana. It's Juana? a mixture. Yeah. Ah, Juana, yeah. It's a mixture. Mm-hmm. This is what I felt of Juana. And somewhere in his latest album, album, yes, mm. you know, it's an evolvement mm. that I've seen that he brought, you know, like that him, you know, that uh, George Wasuf, uh <laughs> to a certain extent, but in Juana, just like how he was, you know, rapping, singing at the same time, mm. that, and then how the rap are in his latest album. To that certain extent, oh, this is how it sounded self, to he me. He self-produces his. his music. Uh, yeah, and I think he started his own label as well, Malbach Kitchen. Okay, which is, yeah. I mean, listen, modern modern day overall artists like the, he can be easily top 10 for me. Modern day, like top 15 maybe. Re- like you're talking about Arab? overall all oh. artists. That modern are from the modern day, you know. He mm-hmm. can be up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not I mad agree. if someone said yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad at someone saying. That. Um. Also, what do we have? A release also from Zen Rawi. Yeah, paper paper uh, planes. Uh, it's featuring. No idea. Just sick. So we don't miss. Boop, boop, boop. We can, you can guys uh, oh, sorry, talk oh. about the collab. Between whom and whom? Adidas. Ah, the Ravi Adidas collab. Yes. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> 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 what, what, what do you think about it, Awab? Uh, it's the first time I hear of Ravi. Of Ravi? Yeah, we, we are, we are yeah. from Abu Dhabi. Yeah, it's a, it's, but I think it's, it's, a, in it's, a, it's, Dubai, yeah. it's an icon. It's an icon. I think it's a nice uh, yeah, any collaboration because it's it's a collaboration But with a staple is, in the city. Exactly. This is, see, 
It's like it's like Adidas collaborating with the Al Alamein. Exactly. Oh, it's, it's But the Alamein is is in Abu Dhabi. So Ravi is a Dubai, you know, Alamein. You know, hey. But I want to go try Ravi. Ravi. Yeah. Regardless, try it or not, but this is iconic. You know, it's an iconic move. I love that. I love it. I love it also. Yeah. You know, I'm waiting for someone to do now with Alamein. Something like that. Is Alamein still open? Yeah. ما بقفلوا بفتحوا بقفلوا بفتحوا ما بزعج. بقفلوا for the same reason. The same reason. The notion بتاع التصميم ده قاعد لسه. آه أوكي. والله يا أخي عم يت go actually grab one now. والله يبالا. والله I'm gonna go do it. لا لا فلافل hot dog. Everything in the kitchen. بطاطس. بقايا الحارة كلها بحطوها. I remember there was a corona. لا لا ما في مكرونه ما وصل ما وصل ما وصل بيبي ميبي ان ذا بيجينينج اوف العالمين لا لا ما كان كان في مكرونه فلافل كان مقصر ما كان في فلافل بايا اتس اتس ا فيري نايس موف شوت اوت تو ايفري بادي ذات واز انفولفد ان ذس موف يا ذس ايكونيك يا سبيشلي فاينلي اتس فاينلي نايس تو سي ا كولابوريشن يعني ذاتس اكشوال ترو تو ذا كلتشر يا ذاتس ترو That's true. So the Zayn Rawi song is called Paper Plane featuring, okay, Sherry? <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> uh, sorry if we mispronounced the name. You heard it? Uh, actually, I didn't, I didn't get around to it, no. Yep. But I, I heard I, it. But I want to listen uh, to it. Yeah, I mean, Zayn Rawi, he's a talented artist. He is. He's, a, he's a talented artist. He is. I just, yeah. But for some reason, I, I, I'm glad that he's picking up consistency. Is he? <laughs> he, is. Uh, he dropped. Uh, he released one, but it was a couple months. Uh, Moon, yeah, Moonflower. yeah, it was a couple last months. Month. It was last month. Moonflower was last month. Last month? Yeah. What May was that long? May? Yeah. Yeah, we're in June. Yeah, but I mean May felt yeah, May that was long. A very long last month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he dropped Moonflower. It was nice. Yeah. It's his second song, right now. I hope he stays consistent. Yeah, he has, yeah he has and I music. hope I see another EP this year. Why oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be good. Yeah, good intentions was good. No pun intended. But yeah, uh, do you have anything, guys? You want to add? No, I'm good on my side. Good. Okay. This was everything from the Flamingos podcast no, this I'm, week. I'm, uh-huh. Happy Father's Day. Oh, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day to you, Kenzie. Thank you so much. We have to, we have to give you a. I appreciate, <laughs> appreciate it, my son. My son, <laughs> no, he's a father. He's an old person. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. You can Shout out to all the fathers. You can call me uncle. Shout out to all the fa- never. <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to all the fathers out there. Shout out to all the single va- fathers as well out there. Shout out to all the fathers that are putting the work for ho- for the household and is going unnoticed. Shout out to all the fathers that are showing. Putting the love, putting the plate, Put, huh? the plate, you know, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like okay. you know, okay. for the kids every time, that, yeah. you know. The father role is an important role in the family, so I appreciate, it. appreciate it. Yeah, <clears throat> even if uh, in our in your teenage life or in your teenage phase, you would have. Or start having this, you know, that, that father yeah. can't feel me, father. That you know. I don't know how that, that, that does that happen. But yeah, but yeah. It's, a, it's a phase. It's it a happens phase. as a phase. Yeah. yeah, you know. Always be thankful for family. And shout out to all the queens as well, the moms. <clears throat> but we celebrate to you a lot, and خلاص. I'm happy about the fact that there's more attention towards Father's Day now. Finally. <clears throat> yeah. We never celebrated the fathers yeah. and our, you know, True. yeah, we never did. And I f- you, you, you pops, is calling. pops is calling, yeah. see, but yeah, uh, <laughs> fathers, happy fathers, fathers feels and yeah, they know yeah, everything. We're talking about them uh, as well, <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yo, this is everything from the Flamingos podcast for this week. This was episode 110. This is Yad, Kenzo on the mic, and a wop. Shout out to everybody out there. It's love, 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 and hope everybody out there have a good week. And peace, we out.